Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about inode in Unix file system. What is an inode? If you search it on Google, it's going to show up this. An inode is an entity in inode table containing information, the metadata about a regular file and directory. But what does, uh, what does that really mean? So on our hard drive, we have a bunch of blocks, and these are back to back. Uh, each of these has an address. And when I'm storing a file, let's say these three blocks are one file, these two blocks are another file. Um, but it doesn't happen like this that they are always back to back. Why? Because when I'm deleting a file, let's say this was a file, so I deleted that, this was a file that I deleted that. Now I have these empty blocks and I'm going to store a big file. So what I can do is I always files back to back and have to start and end so these blocks are going to be wasted or waiting for only small files or I can have one other place to store the address of these files and whenever I'm going to read that file I'm going to have access to these that's true that it is going to slow me down because now I need to check different spots uh, for my single file. When I'm deleting these, it's going to be empty. Now I'm going to put my new file part of that over here, another part over here, and maybe uh, over here some other part. So this, this single file is in 34 or many different spaces. I know it is going to store the right spot for each of these, the addresses for these. The other thing, the other thing about inodes, maybe downside of that is um, when data is being written uh, continuous, uh, continuously uh, on hard drive, uh, if the hard, uh, if the data is very small, uh, we have many many files all small. It is possible that we can run out of uh, inodes before running out of actual storage on our hard drive. That's great that uh, hard drives are designed very well, that it's almost never happening, but on theory, it is possible that we can run out of iNode before running out of storage. So, going back to the thing that I said, I mentioned uh, about slowing down, I'm going to describe it a little bit. So this is the head on a mechanical hard drive, not solid state, a mechanical hard drive. And if I have a small piece over here for my data, another small piece over here, maybe another piece over here. So this disk needs to spin and gets over here so the head can read it. Um, and the head definitely is moving, but it's going to take some time. If you put these files, if these little uh, dots are one file, if I put them back to back, it's going to be much faster because it can just read it right away to the end of the file. This is what we do in defragment, defragmentation. Now it's time to talk about the structure of inode. What do we have over here? As you see, a bunch of data, file mode, uh, link count. I'm going to talk in another video about link count. Uh, we have two different kinds of links, soft link and hard link. But long story short, uh, a file, a single file, can be located in two different folders. This is different than shortcut uh, or symbolic link. One single file can be actually in two different folders. I can explain that in a different video. Some data about permissions, file data, uh, file size, and also the address of these 10 blocks. So the first 10 blocks are going to be addressed directly, but if I have more than 10 blocks, I have single uh, indirect pointer, double indirect pointer, and triple indirect pointer. What is it? It's going to basically know to uh, another 10, block, 10 address location, uh, 10 pointer. And on the double indirect, so each of these 10s are going to be to another 10. And uh, this makes it possible to have files as big as 4 terabytes. That's really huge, so um, that's a, a 